Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, and today's video is going to be all about region for FCCLA. So I was going to do this whole like vlog thing where I show you like me getting ready the night before, me getting ready in the morning, like showing up, getting on the bus, getting off the bus, you know, like do kind of like a montage situation and then maybe voice over a little bit, um, like vlog a little bit in public. That did not happen. Um, even like pulling my phone out in public was really nerve wracking for me and I was just not comfortable doing that. So that did not happen. I do have a few clips of me getting ready. So I will insert them wherever I feel like it when I'm editing. Um, another note, it is Saturday night at like, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6.46 p.m. Have yeah. a good evening. Okay, thanks. So like, it's 6.46 and it's Saturday, which is when I usually post, which is when I was supposed to post this video. And I did not plan on having to film before I posted because I was filming on Thursday. And it was set that I was going to film on Thursday. Then I was like, okay, well, didn't do the vlog style. So I'm going to have to do a sit down video and explain some things and then include some vlog clips that I did get. Well, I didn't do that yesterday. <laughs> and then I was going to do it this morning so that I could get it uploaded. Um, but then that didn't happen. And then I just put it off all day. So now it's 6.46 and this video is going to be up very, very late this Saturday. So I apologize for that, please. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'm also going to be pre-filming a lot of videos just because we don't want the same situation to happen next week that happened this week and I don't have a Wednesday video filmed. So if you see me like this in a lot of the next couple of videos, that would be why. And a lot of them are going to be FCCLA related because I'm feeling very FCCLA um, because of state. So start from the beginning. I'm going to start. So I woke up at 5.30 in the morning very very exhausted very not happy <laughs> and I woke up and I got ready I did my makeup and it looks super cute I can insert some pictures that I have of that day so I hung up my black skirt it looks really big and weird it's just a black skirt you'll see it tomorrow and then I just have my red polo that needs to be steamed and I do my nails I usually do so because I just did not want to be late because I couldn't be late I couldn't miss the bus because that'd be really really bad so I need to be at the school at 7 15 and I live about 15 minutes away from where my school is but in the snowstorm that <laughs> it's about 30 minutes away so um got ready you know and uh that was great so I can insert whatever clips I need to in voice over that and editing so after I got ready, I left and my dad took me to school because to the, my school because that's where we were like meeting at 7.15 in the morning because it was snowing outside and it was really scary. The roads were not good. They were not good. They were not good. So he took me in his truck um, because it's a good car, you know, and anyways, so we got there and I think we got, I got there by like 7.10 ish. So I get out and I meet my friend who's competing with me at the front of the school. And they said to meet at the front of the school by 7.15 and we get on the bus. So we're hit, we're sitting there, we're just kind of talking, not really paying attention to our surroundings. Um, and all of a sudden we look over and then there's this bus. And we were supposed to be taking a bus. And so all of a sudden it just zooms away. And here I am like hyperventilating, freaking out. Because in my mind, we just missed the bus to region. Like what do I do? Do I call... My parents? Does she call her parents? Do we need to ride there? Did we actually miss it? Do, is do, Can we run to the next school? Like, what What do we do? Like, I don't, do we just not go to region? Like, I I was like, oh, no. Um, and then I, I started like, okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. So my friend was just laughing. She thought it was hilarious. She was like, this is funny. Like, are you kidding me? We missed the bus. And I was like, this is not funny. So I calmed down, started breathing, and I got on my phone and I was like texting you I was like hey has the bus left like the text would have seemed so casual when in reality I was freaking out and I just get a response nope it's not here yet and I was like oh. 
Because, like, you have to understand, nobody from FCCLA, from our chapter, was around us at the time. And we were supposed to be meeting there. So this bus leaves, we don't see anyone else, so we don't know if they were on the bus, and we weren't, and it was this whole thing. But it wasn't even our bus, so we were, like, freaking out over nothing. And then they all showed up later, like, 7.20ish, um, and the bus came, like, 7.40. <laughs> so I just kind of chilled until the bus came. Um, and I caught up with my old advisor from the middle school, which was kind of cool. I don't know, it was kind of weird, like, not being there with her, like, in charge of me, if that makes sense. Because she had a certain <clears throat> way of doing things, like, we would meet here at Region, and, like, this is how things would go, and this is how it worked. Um, and it's just completely different now that I'm at the high school and I just have a different advisor because they're two different people. So, that happened. <laughs> Um, and then we got there and we went to compete and we found out that we were the only ones competing in our region in our um, event. So we're doing hospitality, tourism, and recreation. So we get there and we go to sign up um, and then we do the opening like ceremony thing. And then we went to go compete because we were first because we were the only ones. <laughs> so we went to go and sign into our room consultant, which is the person that like takes you to the room that you're supposed to compete in. And they like get all like the first like solid information like do you have your project with you like do you have this paper or whatever um and that person wasn't there and you were supposed to like sign in and they would kind of like walk you through what happens next and we have never competed in this event before and so I was like <laughs> this, this is not fun so I was talking to a few different people and they were like oh yeah we just have to find the room consultant or we just need to find someone to do it we, we need to figure out what's happening and I said okay so then I waited about like an hour a half hour or something like that it was a while and we I was too scared to like pull up the project and start presenting it because then I would feel frantic to like have to get through everything so I pulled up the project and we did go through a few a few times but not as much as we could have if we would have realized we had enough time um and then we they found a room consultant but it was like a fill-in like someone that they were just like hey we need a room consultant for this event I just need someone with free time and this person was like okay yeah sure whatever I'll do it so this person has no idea what they're doing. We have no idea what we're doing. And so the person goes to find a case study. So for our event, we had a case study, which is where they give you like a scenario or whatever. And then you have a paper and you have 10 minutes to fill out what you would do. So we have an event planning business. It was an event coordination um, scenario. And our scenario was like, they're, you're, plan you're helping organize an event for like 800 plus people who are going to be coming in on this day, but there's this huge snowstorm and like, so much snow and you ordered all this food like what would you do and so we like answered the question um and so it took us forever to just to find a room to do that which was like 10 minutes of us literally going around in circles all over this venue place that like the thing was at which was weber state i don't know why i didn't tell you that anyways and so we were just like frantic running around and then finally we found a place we did it and then we went back to present and she had no idea what was happening and i know like you leave the presentation you leave the case study and then you go out and judges look over and they do just like judge just your portfolio first and then you come in and do your oral presentation so we did that and while we were outside we met like outside like waiting to go in to present orally like just speak it or whatever um we met a girl who it was her first time ever she was a freshman it was really kind of cool to talk to her just see her like point of view on things um that's a weird noise <laughs> and of that so i'm trying i lost my train of thought oh yeah so and it was like kind of cool just her being like i have no idea what i'm doing i have no idea what's happening and it's insane and I just like remembering like oh my gosh like this is my third year doing this and I remember like the first year doing this feeling the exact same way and being so nervous and so scared and honestly this time I was not nervous at all I don't know if it was that like the room consultant didn't know what was happening so I didn't feel as judged so, like if I didn't do as well or what it was but I just didn't feel nervous and then we went into present and I stuttered a lot and I got nervous and I got lost my train of thought a lot and so I like trying to like push through it I pushed through it I didn't think we did very well because I'm not very good at presenting and I hate making eye contact with people especially when those people are like looking at you weird I don't know what it is but they all have like really bad RBF and I don't I was like freaking out anyways I also did my nails by the way anyways so um we finished presenting which was fine and then we went to a workshop a leadership workshop run by somebody 
but went by one of the state officers who was actually in my chapter which was really cool really fun it was good to see her like kind of do that i don't know it was really cool um it was a good good workshop uh, i learned a lot i guess about leadership um and it was just really good we ate lunch um and then we went to the like closing ceremony thing so for the closing ceremony that is when they like they show you what you got that's what i'm trying to say i'm gonna have to cut a lot out of this video because it's gonna be so long oh did i no okay so this was, and then we got our judges sheets too after these are our judges sheets and i think i'll probably go over that in a different video just because this one is so long because i'm adding clips in and stuff and just trying to like explain what happened in the day it was honestly such a long day and i got home and i like i'll show you that stuff later anyways and we got a 90 which okay so i need to explain how they score this so i don't know if you can see but along the bottom here it has like thing that was right here I don't, you probably can't see that. I'll just read it to you. So you get a gold ribbon if you get 90 to 100 points. A silver ribbon if you get 70 to 89.99 points. Um, and bronze through 1 to 69.99. So if you don't get 50 points, you can't go to state. If you get 50 points, then you can go to state, if that makes sense. So um, basically, every... So every judge gets um the judging sheets and you have three judges and they score you like on everything as you can see there's like totals here and then at the end they'll total it all up into one number so this number was 77 and the other number was i think like 80 something and the other number was like i don't know 80 something again anyways and so what happens is they add up all the numbers and then they divide it by three to get the average. And if your average score is one of these, then you get to, then that's what ribbon you get. So we got there, it was really fun. Um, and we were very surprised to get gold. We got a gold ribbon, Woo, I'm super excited about that. Not expecting that at all. And now we are going on to state. And honestly, I have so much more like drive and excitement and like, I'm gonna, fix this project to perfection we are going to go we're gonna go all the way we're gonna make it to nationals but at the same time i'm like you know what if i don't make it to nationals i had a lot of fun anyways and i didn't make it to nationals last year it's not a requirement and it's just super duper fun to do anyways so that was it um i'll insert some stuff but after um i got home i had the worst headache it hit me really bad like got a migraine horrible literally changed into sweats got on my bed watched smallville and i nursed a diet coke because okay something about me i don't like caffeine uh, like at all i never like i okay i used to be, like be addicted to it. i loved it so much but i bro broke the addiction and i just like water or lemonade now but when i have a really bad headache and i don't want to take migraine medicine because it makes me sleepy and weird and ugh, um i'll just drink some caffeine and it usually does help so i have I nursed a Diet Coke. I'm like, that's just Smallville. <laughs> that's literally it. Um, so yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, I know that was a really boring, super weird video. I'm gonna have to cut out a lot because already it's really long. But I hope you guys have a great, fantastic, wonderful day, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.